Here we're going to find the maximum or minimum of this quadratic equation by using partial factoring. To partial factor, we need to take a common factor out of the first two terms of the equation only. So here, my common factor is going to be negative 3x. I'm going to be left with an x plus 4 in the brackets, and outside of the brackets I will have the plus 15. Now this is going to allow us to choose two points that are symmetrical on this parabola. The two points that I'm going to choose are going to be um, an x value of 0, because that will make this portion equal to 0, and an x value of negative 4, because it will make this factor equal to 0. And this will uh, be the easiest way to find two symmetrical points. So my two points on the parabola are going to be 0 and 15, because when I plug a 0 here in, this cancels, and I'm left with y equals 15. And my other point will be negative 4 and 15. When I plug in negative 4 here, this becomes 0, which eliminates this portion of the equation, and I'm left with 15 also here. Now, because I know these two points are symmetrical, I'm going to find the axis of symmetry by adding the two x values together and dividing by 2. When I do that, my axis of symmetry will be at x equals negative 2. And I know that a maximum or minimum value occurs on the axis of symmetry for any parabola. So I'm going to take this value of x equals negative 2 and plug it back into the original equation. like this, and I will solve for the value of y. So here I get negative 12 plus 24 plus 15. And this gives me 29 for the optimum value um, at the vertex. Now, because the a value of the quadratic is negative, I know that the optimum value here is going to be a maximum with a value of 29.